Hi friends, Yari here with Third Eye Yari. We're gonna start today with the Akashic Tower. Yeah. <coughs> the Akashic Tower. Muse. Oh, how pretty. It almost reminds me of uh, the cherry blossoms. I used to live in D.C. And I love the cherry blossoms. It, they're so beautiful. If you have the opportunity to be in D.C. Uh, during springtime for the cherry blossoms, I totally, um, it's, it's spectacular. And that reminds me of the cherry blossoms. So, <clears throat> there's a woman, it looks almost like she's in a globe, like those globes that you shake and they have. Um, yeah, snow, but instead of no snow, because it's, it's kind of open, you, you can see the globe on one side, but on the other side is open, and instead of snow, it's the cherry blossoms, it's the little flowers, <coughs> the muse. So something is inspiring, Something is inspiring. It's interesting because it's card number 15. And card number 15 in tarot is the devil card, okay? Which reduces to six, which is the lover's card. It's unconditional love, okay? But this, instead of binding, is inspiring because it's the muse. <coughs> Okay, um, this is the sacred forest. Oh, okay, that's the cherry blossoms right there. I mean, look at that. It's two completely different decks and it has exactly the same little pink flowers of the cherry blossoms. Bluebird happiness, Blue, bluebird spirit happiness. I wonder if it talks about the cherry blossoms, um, sacred forest, sacred forest, number seven. Oh, and it's number seven and number seven is, um, you know, spirituality, intuition. You follow the sweet songbirds into the forest as you find the source of sound. This is a tree above. 
Also blue wings, the, the bright colors of their wings shimmer in the sun under sun. Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't talk about the cherry blossoms, but I, those are cherry blossoms. Beautiful. Uh, there's also a unicorn down here, <coughs> which is magic, is loyalty. So it has a little bit of like a magician. Um, energy toward uh, to it birds are messengers birds sing birds can be inspiring too they also have a very common effect you know when you're sitting out in the porch and it's a beautiful breezy day and you're listening to the birds. And the birds are not, well, they can be loud, but usually they're not that loud. So you kind of get quiet and pay attention if you really want to listen to the birds. So it has a calming effect. It's beautiful. Just like when you're listening to somebody playing the flute, which is what she looks like she is doing right there. It's not a very loud noise, so you kind of like lean in to listen. It's beautiful. So I think leaning in and listening to your body, listening to messages from spirit, is going to be really important. Okay, these are angels and ancestors. Oh, I'm loving this message. Yesterday we had a very strong message of somebody really having a hard time. Um, so this is this is nice. Water guardian, connect with your emotions. Uh, so it's definitely very feminine energy that, oh, you know, emotions and, and messages and intuition um, is very feminine um, energy. And blue is the throat chakra. Well, blue, yeah, blue is the throat chakra. Um, indigo is the third eye. But blue is the is the throat chakra, and I think it 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 it's talking about both because it goes from like light blue over here to more indigo up here, and she's definitely um you know has whatever that is um a dormant on her third eye so definitely talk speaking about both and it has the reference to the angels which are the messengers and we have messengers here with the birds i mean it's all connected beautifully what a guardian connect to your emotions <clears throat> very can cancerian energy okay i feel that's the one Earth school life lessons, soul growth, study, higher learning. Again, very um, um, feminine energy um, with life lessons and soul growth. So it's all about the earth. It's all about, you know, using that energy that Mother Earth 
provides to all of us and we are so disconnected with all the technology and stuff right true words from from a youtuber that uses technology every day for work um <clears throat> all right and this is the radiant wise tarot and i love that image this is just a regular radio wise but i love the images on this tarot Let's get the story. Let's get the details of this story. Oh, the hermit. Wow. Okay, so a lot of blocked energy. <clears throat> so we're learning from the past. And it, it was speaking here about um, Earth School, right? So a lot of learning. We're learning from the past. We're illuminating the past for others to follow. Um, this is very good energy. I just realized that in his lantern, and I've seen this card a thousand times, and I just realized that in his lantern, there's a star. The light of his lantern is a star. I wonder if every tarot has, it probably does. I'm gonna look it up. Um, so with the star energies, healing and wish fulfillment. But healing, made, when I said that, I, I felt something really deeply in my entire upper body. So yes, we, we, are, we are learning from the past. We're looking at the past, what happened in the past, and the life lessons that we have gathered that we have learned and that it's been very inspiring for us to move forward because we are feeling a little off okay we're feeling a little off we're feeling like we're not seeing the fruit of our labor and this could very well be about a job about a career, about a business. It could be a relationship. It could be. But I feel more that it's kind of, you know, like when a job, it, it has run its course, like you have clearly outgrown it and you're just looking for something because you feel like at this point you're putting stuff in and not getting anything out. Okay, so you need more. You need growth. You need growth. <clears throat> and then we have the justice card in reverse. And the justice card in reverse, well, it could be that you have something in the courts going on that it hasn't been resolved yet. It's not that it's going to go bad because it's in the reverse. It just hasn't been resolved yet. It could go bad, though, because it's in the reverse. But it, it to me, it tells me that it just hasn't been resolved yet. And this is this is a cause of um, tension. Uh, I, I my my back started to hurt. Like like we're coming out of there. We're coming out of there. We're coming out of 
that hurt, that tension, that we're coming out, we're leaving it behind, but, <clears throat> okay, we're, we're just not feeling it, we're just not feeling inspired, so, <clears throat> this is what's important, okay, so, we have a situation, I want to say this is a job, a business, something that has run its course. You have clearly outgrown it. You're putting in and you're not getting out. You're not feeling um, inspired. You're tired. You're exhausted. You need to move on. You're looking back. You're seeing that the great, I have grown. Now I'm stuck. Now I stopped growing because I need to move away from here. I need to do something different. I need to put my resume out. Maybe I need to, you know, get the fruits of my labor out of this business, close it up. I don't know. You would understand. You would know what it means. I know what it means to me. You know what it means to you, okay? I really don't feel this is a, a relationship. If, if that's what it is for you, if you have a grown uh, relationship, that's what it is. But this is something that you have outgrown and that you're not seeing the fruits of your labor anymore. You did. You clearly did because you're looking back at the past. You're looking back at the past and you see how good it was at one point. It's just not anymore. It's time to move. It's time to move. And you need to look at this situation and take everything that it gave you, pack it up with you, and move on. <clears throat> so let's see a little bit more. We're running out of time. It's 70 minutes. So, I mean, this is very clear. I don't think there's anything that we, I mean, we could always get more details, but I'm going to get some more details. I just see my, my wall, as you can see, I'm sure. Um, we're going to get more details. We're going to do the little tarot, and, and we're going to do the, you know, we're going to get more details with, with the little tarot and the charms, okay? <clears throat> so if you hear your sign, there's a, there's a very special message here for you. You need to listen to it again. We got Capricorn. We got Libra twice, and we got Taurus. Um, okay, so the letters, you can see your initials or somebody else's initials. We got a lot of letters. We got J, T, E, and that says Jet, N, E, V. <laughs> Net, vet, I can do a lot of three letter words. M, met, L, let. <laughs> I just feel dumb right now. K, one more. <clears throat> w, wet. <laughs> Um, it almost says milk. <coughs> you, you can, <coughs> you can look at the letters and play with them. Okay. Um, so let's do mini tarot. I'm going to do three. I got one. Yeah. Two. 
Yeah, definitely. And three. So, so this is what's up, okay? Um, you're kind of struggling now. This is this is heavy on your shoulders. You're struggling now. Uh, you're, you're, you're making it, you're, you're making it happen. You know, this job, you go to work and you do everything that you got to do every day. You're making it work, but you're struggling. This is, <clears throat> it's not fun anymore. You're not growing anymore. It's clear, clearly you have outgrown it. Clearly you need to move on. Get those resumes going. <clears throat> Cause you're walking away. You are walking away. You are walking away. The nine of cups. You are walking away. <clears throat> but then you have a new beginning. And cups are emotions, relationships. We have the queen of cups here in the reverse too. So it could be a relationship. But to me, it's something that is close to your heart. And, you know, well, a lot of people just do a job, whatever it is. But some of us have a career and we pour our heart into it. Okay. Um, so this for me, for example, reading tarot for you, is not just a thing that I do. It's my passion. I put not my heart. I put my heart, my brain, my stomach, my everything everything because it's my passion um so you're clearly moving on clearly moving on okay we're gonna do three little charms three hmm. okay so we have laugh Keep laughing, keep 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 the happiness up, keep it up. And you know, it's the very first time that with a charm, I get a divination. And as soon as I saw that pumpkin, I knew it. You're gonna be in a completely different place by October. And I know that's long ways away. You, but you are, that doesn't mean that you're gonna find the new job in October. I say you're going to be in a completely different place in October. So maybe I think you're going to be establishing that new job, establishing that new relationship, established or completely out of this relationship. But, you know, don't jump into another relationship right away. Give yourself some time. Uh, in established in that new business. I mean, you're going to be in a di completely different place in October. And incredibly, there is something that you still don't know. This is the moon. This is something that you still don't know about that situ this situation. And that may change your perspective completely. How about that? Um, an avocado. Hmm. I need to think about that because I'm not getting anything. <clears throat> I'm not getting anything at all with that. So what does avocado, avocado normally means Happiness, avocados make me happy, and long-lasting love. And, ooh, and look what we have. We have both crowns. The king's crown and the queen's crown. So if this is a relationship you're talking about, either things are going to revamp, because there's something that you don't know about and things are going to be so good in October 
I don't think this is a new relationship. If <clears throat> maybe it is, but if this is if this struggle right here for you is a relationship, you're in for a surprise. There's something that you don't know that is gonna change everything. Because this is like everlasting love and happiness. And you're going to have the divine masculine and the divine feminine together at the end. If this is not love, you're going to find out something. Maybe not about this situation, but you're going to find out about a different job that you did not know about. That is going to feel like an absolutely loving relationship. It's going to be a wonderful partnership. You're going to click really well. You're going to mesh just really well. Like the yin and the yang. It's going to be the intuition and the action. It's going to be all of it together. Working beautifully. And it's going to be everlasting love. And all your basic needs are going to be, I mean, it's going to be the, the, the love and then your basic needs are going to be met, which doesn't mean that you're going to just get enough money to survive. No, you're, you, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. But that little, um, red gem right there, it just reminds me of the root chakra. So your, all your finances and your basic needs are going to be met. Okay, you're gonna have more than enough to uh, move on, and it's just so if it's not a relationship, it's just going to flow incredibly nice. How about that? I love it, I love it. All right, so if you need details. <coughs> about your own um, situation, please go to my website, um, www.thirdiary.com and schedule a private reading with me. I'll be happy to spend some time with you and to serve you. Um, and please, all of you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. It costs you nothing, and it really um, helps me out. I would so appreciate it because it, you know, it. There's a logarithm, so it it helps out um, to keep me on YouTube and for others to find these videos. So I stay on YouTube, okay? And with that, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.